Hi, in this tutorial we are going to create a human character inside 3D Studio Max. However, before we get started, we need to have a reference of a human body so we can take that into 3D Studio Max and base our model on our reference. In this case, I have this image that I'm going to use. Um, as you can see, I have three drawings of this character, uh, front, side and back. And as you can see, all three images are aligned. The chin is aligned, the feet, top of the head, they're all aligned and on the same line. So I'm going to take this inside 3D Studio Max and I'm going to set up image planes that I could use so I could uh, base my model on these references. So I'm going to jump into 3D Studio Max. In this case, I'm using Autodesk 3ds Max Design 2013. Now, as you can see, I'm using the design version of 3ds Max and not the normal version of 3ds Studio Max. Uh, there will be a few different settings that you will need to change. I will talk about all of those as well. Um, and I believe it's actually a good point that I'm using 3ds Max Design um, because uh, then I'm obliged to change a few settings and you will you will uh, see the differences between 3ds Max design and the normal version of 3ds Max um, and the fact that I'm using 2013 doesn't really uh, matter here you could do, do the exact same tutorial in 2015 or the previous version of 3ds Max 3ds Max 8 even if you wanted to I'm gonna go to the front um, viewport but actually before I do that I may want to jump in and open up uh my hotkey so that you can actually see the hotkeys I use. Okay, so this window over here will show you all the keys that I will be pressing. In this case, I'm gonna press F to go to the front viewport. I'm gonna create a plane. Remember in this tutorial I'm assuming that you have a good understanding of uh, 3ds Max um, so I'm not going to talk about the basics of 3d Studio Max I don't need any segments on this plane so I'm just going to right click on these in order to get rid of that and I'm going to bring in my material as a texture press M to go to the material later here's one of the differences between 3ds Max design and normal 3ds Max by default in 3ds Max design all these um, materials are set to arc and design I'm going to change that to standard and I'm gonna bring in my image as a um, image file. So I'm looking for uh, where do they save it? I saved it in 3D tutorials, 3ds Max, uh, human body, and I am looking for this image over here. So I'm going to click and drag that and then click on show shaded material in viewport. Of course, this does not have um, the correct uh, proportion. So I'm going to select the image plane in the modify panel. I'm going to put in a UVW map. I'm going to say bitmap fit and choose the image again. So that's fine. I'm going to expand the UVW gizmo and bring in the front character in the hands are being cut out so I'm going to jump back to my plane and I'm going to change the width a little bit that's good what I also like to do is in, the, in my material editor I want to go back to parent and I'm gonna uh, change the uh, setting for self illumination to 100 that kind of makes your image a little bit brighter so that's the front image done I'm gonna go to perspective and I'm gonna go to my rotate tool shift and drag and I also need to press A in order to have my angle snap tool on. I'm going to make sure this says 90 degrees. I'm going to let go and say, give me a copy, not an instance. Now it's very important that at this stage we don't move this up and down. We can move it left and right, forwards or backwards as much as you want, but you cannot move it up and down. Otherwise, it will be out of alignment. So in this case, what I need is a side image. The side image is already there. So I'm going to get the gizmo and bring this. Now this is my front, this is my side image. I need this image to be flipped so the character is facing the other way. So I can just click flip over here and that will flip my character. The plane is too big for this image so I'm going to uh, reduce the width. That's good. And at this stage I don't really need the um, 
the back image so I'm going to leave that out for now um, in this case because this image has been created on grid line that means if I go to my front viewport and I create any object let's create a box for example it will create it exactly on top of that image plane so in order to avoid that I'm going to select this and push it back push that back select this push this back a little bit so now I have this area in the middle that I could use to create my model it's also very important that these image planes don't get in our way of modeling so I'm gonna select them both um, right click object properties and inside 3s max not the design version inside normal 3 studio max uh, you will see all these options being available but by default um, here um, I need to click on but by layer the, the options are a little bit different and I'm gonna uncheck show frozen in gray so when I freeze these layers or these um, planes they won't go gray I'm gonna click over here I'm gonna manage layers and while I have these two selected I'm gonna click on create new layer and I'm gonna call this references and I'm gonna click on freeze that will freeze these layers and I can no longer select them but I see them at the same time um, you need to make sure that you click on this box so the tick jumps up otherwise this will remain as your active layer so whatever you create in that layer will be frozen and you won't be able to select it so make sure you go back to your uh, layer zero so this is how you would create an image plane inside 3D Studio Max um, if you think the tutorial was a little bit too quick um, that's because I already expect you to um, to have some knowledge of 3ds max already um, if you got confused about what I pressed there's always this bar down here to the bottom left corner um, you can always go back on the video and see what keys I pressed um, I'm gonna stop the video tutorial here at this stage I will have another tutorial where we actually start creating the character uh, see you soon